Okay, in this video, I've just prepared a couple of animations in advance to kind of give you an idea of what you can do with halo effects. And in the first example I'll run is using it as backlighting. All right, let's see if I have this set up to run right. Yeah, it looks like it's in here okay. So if I stop it here, you can see it gives you some nice effects in here like that if you want to use it as a backlighting. And you would think normally that a halo like this you know, if you're putting some, I don't know, haunted scene or something like that, might cast a little bit of light to illuminate the scene, but by itself, it doesn't, because all it's doing, it's really just a filter to the scene, so it's not casting any light on to any other objects like this. So now let's go take a look at the next animation, and that is this one here. Now in this case, actually I've made the halo too bright, but you can see, based on this shadow that I left in this scene intentionally. That would actually not normally render with a shadow if I was using a halo effect. But you can see it's actually casting a light on here. Here's the light on this side. Now it's on this side like this. And all I've done is I've taken the halo and I attached a very small point light to it and parented it to it and let it run through the scene. So I just happened to make this halo too bright and too big to really get the effect in the scene but it was you know maybe another five minutes to re-render it so I just thought I'd run it but it kind of gives you the idea but they do make for nice effects halos can be really useful in fact if you look at my playlist on my uh, tornado animations almost all of those in there I did back in 2.37 a version long time ago and they were almost all done with halo rendering as in, there's no solid shaded objects in there. It's, it's a lot of particles with a lot of halo rendering. And so if you look carefully, they can actually work really well to your advantage. Even though it's not a 3D object, you know, and it's not a 3D shaded rendering, just by judicious placement of your particles with the right combination of your halo rendering, it can come out so, to do some pretty nice stuff. Anyway, all right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.